Oddly enough, even with the new waves of Mario Kart DLC, we have yet to have any brand new battle courses added to the game. What does that mean? And are we going to get some in wave 6? Let's get this part out of the way. I don't think we're going to get any battle courses because I feel like if they would have, we would have already gotten them, which makes sense because it's Nintendo. If we would have gone battle, we already would have gone battle. That's how I see it. But there is actually one reason or one way I could still see them adding a battle mode to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And it has to do with the city tracks. For those unaware, in Mario Kart Tour, they have battle courses in the game. So you saw that coming. But with those battle courses, they started converting city tracks like New York Minute and Paris Promenade, the two that exist, into battle courses. However, those tracks, well, those are the last two battle courses we've had, and they have not really supported battle mode since then in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which makes me think, yeah, battle mode, you might be dead. Deader than my dad, even. But what if we were to get a battle mode? What if that battle mode actually, well, existed? And that, my friends, is why I'm here today. We are going to be talking about actually having a battle mode and what I could see in the game. And let's start off with the city tracks that I was just talking about that I completely forgot to finish the thought of. Haha. -ha. Even though in Mario Kart Tour, they don't actually have the city tracks, as battle maps at least, I'm gonna say that it is possible that the battle maps files or something are still somewhere in the game. And I'm gonna call it right now, the models and maps for them do exist. I just think they haven't like fully brought it into the game, which makes me think, yeah, they can reuse those layouts from Minecraft 8 Deluxe. And right there, if they do every city track like they probably would have for Tor if they continued doing battle mode stuff, that's a lot of battle tracks, in fact, that would be a good like 14 to 15 battle maps right there. Add the couple retro ones like Cookie Land and Twilight House. Boom. Have a good battle mode gamers. Not only did we double the battle map count, we would have quadru- no, I cannot count. They would have tripled the battle map count. Which that right there is kind of incredible on its own because I mean, hey, we only have eight battle maps at the moment and maybe they'll even implement a couple more battle maps that we just do not see coming because let's face it, our dumb brains aren't probably going to be like, um, okay, yeah, this ain't Sky Sunday into a battle map or something. I don't really know. I'm just here, okay? Another thing though to keep in mind is that battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was also very heavily advertised towards the beginning of its release. Now, I'm not talking about the release of the DLC. I'm talking about the release of the release, as in the release of this thing uh, for the Switch, you know, that, that thing. So just with all of that in mind, I could see battle tracks being added if they decide to implement all the city tracks. Other than that, I don't see it because they would have done it by now if they wanted to add more original retro maps. So we'll have to wait and see. I apologize for the really incredibly short video, but if you guys enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more content. Content will be slower the next few days because I'm unmotivated. But if you enjoyed what you've seen, just make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, or whatever they're changing it to, Elon Musk moment, and follow, join my Discord if you haven't already. And to be sure to see you guys next time for some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stuff. Bye.